Before we get into the reaction, please take a look at the thumbnail and tell me it doesn't look like those dodgy pop-ups you get on random websites that tell you that there's a secret ingredient to lose weight so fast, tomorrow you're going to wake up as a twig. That's what it looks like. Or maybe I'm just bugging. Perhaps you could say it looks like those aubergine enlargement pill adverts on the adult sites. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. How do I know what I'm talking about? Delete your comment right now. I see you typing something to slander me. Please don't do it. Let's just get into it. Why are you still here? Just watch the video. Alright. I didn't press play. Which... It's not very smart of me, but according to Cher, or Shah, maybe short for Charlotte, in the Instagram DMs, we've got the smartest victim here. This is probably the longest intro, start the damn video. Okay, let's go. Hello everyone and welcome to another Hello. episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. Today we speak to a woman named Jacqueline from London who oh. met a man named George Peterson on LinkedIn. Jacqueline will share her one year relationship she had with this London. man who manipulated and lied to her to attempt to dupe her out of money. Well, let's hop into it. Gotta stop saying dupe. Real quick guys, really don't forget sorry. to like, comment, and subscribe. Go do Your that. Comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. But you already My are. name is Jacqueline. I live in the United Kingdom in the east of England. I'm going to stop you there. Now, someone will obviously say to me that that's just stupid. What am I going to say? But her hairstyle just doesn't scream to me someone who lives in England. I don't know what it is about it. It's got this very, like, you know, sitcom vibe. Now, I know there's sitcoms in the Englands. In the Englands. I don't know what happened there. But I I'm getting, she's like, you know, like a pop star in like the 50s or something in America. That's what I'm getting, but shut up. I'd been single for a while. I wasn't looking for love. I was quite happy being single, an independent woman. I went okay. through a year of talking to somebody online. He'd made contact with me through LinkedIn and we got to be talking every day. So his no, no, first no, no, message no. to me- Stop, 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 stop. There's too many gemstone traders, man. Let's go backwards and truly appreciate the fact that this man is on LinkedIn with the official title in your bio, as official as it gets, Gemstones Trader. How in the hell he has 500 plus connections is beyond me. Highlights Superwoman Fest 2022 in Norwich. What does that mean? <laughs> what is the Superwoman Fest? And why is he there? Is he selling gemstones there? You know, diamonds are a girl's best friend, as they say. And what better place than a festival of superwomen to sell to? Superman ain't gonna be happy about that. I tell you, George is a serious threat. But unless they've absolutely photoshopped this, and none of those jokes even apply here. But I've said them anyway. What do you expect from this channel? We got to be talking every day. So <sighs> his LinkedIn. first message to me on LinkedIn was just, hi, nice. thanks for connecting. How are you? He said, I'm fine, thank you. That nice to connect. This person told me Normal. that his name was George Peterson. Okay. He lived in the United States. He lived in Santa Barbara. He said he was from Germany, but that... I'm going to stop you there, Miss Jacqueline, because I need to tell everyone this right now. But if someone descends into deep conversation and starts telling you about themselves on LinkedIn, just run away, right? If you're not in the first few messages telling me that you have a job for me or, you know, you want me to help you out and do something for like your dissertation or something right if anyone is on linkedin and they know of that get out 
Get out. What, what are you doing? I don't care about the fact you used to live in Germany. I don't care. All right. I've been living in Santa Barbara for many, many years. Although, she did say, tell me about yourself. So, you know, I take everything back. What are you? An idiot sandwich. But it still applies. If someone randomly messages you with just hi, what are you doing? Please. Gone into gem trading and diamond You're trading. An interesting that's man. Where he realized he could make his money, but also because his parents were geologists in the past and right. he was quite experienced in that field. Makes he sense. was just very kind. He would exchange music. He would send music through and we would talk about music. Nice. I like music a lot. So nice. that was something that we had in common. So what music? He would send me a message in the morning because there was an eight-hour difference. Uh, I'm going to stop you there as well, Jacqueline. I don't understand these victims whenever they say, oh, we had this in common, we had that in common. And it's the most <laughs> shock, the irony, it's the most common thing in the world. Oh, we, <laughs> we both like music. What's wrong with you? Does that mean you must try and and get this person as a partner? You need to progress into let's let's riz up each other because we both like music. It's just always the most basic thing. There's no there's never any originality, right? No one ever says, "Oh, we both grew up in a village in 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 Turkey together." And oh my god, we never met each other, but we lived next to each other. There's never a story like that. It's always, oh, we got the same color. Wow, the same favorite color, by the way. Oh, we got the same food taste. <sighs> what? So I'd often wake up to a message in the morning. He'd be <sighs> talking during the day. He'd even message me during my morning, which was his nighttime. Nice. And it was just really nice conversations. We were getting to know each other really well. <laughs> We were talking a lot and communicating on WhatsApp through messages. And it was just a really nice feeling. And as I take it back from before as well again then. Because it was on WhatsApp, not LinkedIn. We just jumped straight into WhatsApp. We didn't even get a backstory. Thanks for that. You Really making me look stupid on an episode where apparently she's the smartest victim. Thanks, Catfish. Time went on, you know, he said after about three months that he was in love and it was just a nice feeling for him Better than two that weeks. he found somebody in, you know, in such a way by just talking to somebody that we've got to know each other so well. And he would say it's, you know, it's everything he'd been looking for in a person. Nice. I had asked him once to FaceTime me and he would said that he had a bad connection because he dropped his um, internet connection to travel. And then out of the blue, he kind of one day just said to me... Uh, anyone who is in a similar situation and the person you're talking to doesn't want to at all ever connect with you through FaceTime or any type of video call, you need to ask them, do you just have bad connection every single day? Where are you? I get you're traveling. But do you not have a moment to sit down, perhaps in a hotel, and do it? Stop lying. Stop it. I don't like it. You need to delete the lies. You need to stop the lies. You need to stop the lies. And if you are listening to this in the background, you might think, what the hell has just happened? I've been taken hostage by someone from CBeebies, apparently. It sounded like one of the tweenies. Were they a thing, the tweenies? Or am I think I'm I'm getting cramp twins and tweenies mixed up. But I think it was the tweenies who make weird noises. <coughs> um, I need your help. And I said, what what is it? What do you need? And okay. he said, my dogs uh, need an operation. One of the dogs has an eye problem. I have to pay between 400 and 700 800 dollars. You and your dog need to see yourself out of this conversation because how dare you that's one of the most ludicrous issues that we've ever seen your dog has an eye problem well tell him to go to a therapist then if he has an eye problem you get it because within yourself and 
That's not funny. It's shit. <laughs> dog. My dog needs an operation. You must help me. It's just so shit. So, you know, maybe we shouldn't say kudos to her for not falling for this because it's ridiculous. I can't transfer anything. I don't have access to my bank accounts. Can you help me? Said, are you asking me for money? Right. And he just said, yes, I am, which really stunned. Well, he wouldn't be asking you to come over and perform the surgery, would he? Unless Jacqueline has hidden vet veterinarian talents, then goodness, make a killing girl. Woohoo! But that, I find that it's a rhetorical question, basically. Imagine she actually went over and did the surgery for him. Except it wouldn't. She would be performing air surgery, which is the shitter version of the Air Guitar World Championships. No excitement. Me ...that he just said, yes, I am. He okay. didn't seem bothered that he was asking me for this money. Good. And the next day, he just had a normal conversation as if he hadn't asked me to do that at all. He said he bought me a car. And I said, I don't need a car. I have a car. And he's... We have to give it up. This woman isn't falling head over heels over some dumb shit. How can you say the next day I bought your car? What happened to your dog? Can he see again? What's happened here? He visited the counsellor? He's no longer got an eye problem. It's a you problem now. And it definitely is a you problem here, George. You're a shit scammer. Where's the realism here? Thank- you know, when a victim actually- what can I say? When they actually put their foot down and say, you know, this is stupid. Why are you buying me a car? For the love of God, who are you? And it makes the other victims genuinely seem as if they have just no brain cells at all. Not even half a brain cell. Right? I'm not even going to give them the luxury of half a brain cell. Because that's me. And don't compare me to them. But it, Jacqueline right here it has just made everyone else seem like an utter stupid idiot, right? The fact the other victims fall head over heels for a picture of like a flower, but this Donnie is saying, I bought you a car and she's like, I don't give a shit, mate. Well done, Jacqueline. No, I want you to have the best things. I've, I've bought you this car and I'm bringing oh. it over with me. So he sent a picture of car. Ah, you've bought what looks like some kind of Lamborghini. Now, someone in the comments right now is typing, actually, that's not a Lamborghini. That's a Ferrari S-Class Mercedes. Shush. It's a joke. You've bought this car, but just yesterday, you were asking for a couple hundred dollars to pay for your damn dog. Do you see, do you see my point of how stupid the other victims sound? He sent a picture of a him. Um, Why a is he coffee like shirtless under with there? shipments behind him? And then he kind of said, you know, I'm getting ready. Look, this is me getting ready. I've just organized the shipment of the car and the vehicle. I'm going to put some of my stock in the car and it's going to come over to your house. It will be delivered directly to you. Okay. I was still a little bit suspicious. For me, it was just this would happen if it happened. If he came off the plane, then I would know it was real and it was him. Okay. And if it wasn't, then, you know, this was just going to be, you know, pretty hard to take. But I'd not parted with any money. I, you know, I had not yep. at any time considered that I would do that. Okay. He texted um, pretty much all afternoon saying he was getting ready. Let's take a guess here, right? Get the bingo cards out. Is he going to end up in jail? He's at the airport, right? Or he's packing his bags. What's going to happen? Someone's going to plant drugs in his bag like one hotel staff member did before. Is he going to end up in jail because of it? Is the plane going to break down? Is, and I just remembered this from the depths of my brain, is the plane going to turn around just because of one person so that they can go pick up their daughter? Let Drop it in the comments. No cheating, right? Right now, timestamp and everything. What do you think is going to happen? to go he packed up he 
the text when he got to the airport. Come on. Said he was waiting to board. He talked about being in the airport. He nice. talked about being really tired and couldn't wait to be on the plane. Okay. He sent a short video of Emirates Airline. You could see that some, you know, somebody was taking a video. I couldn't see him. But uh, at the top of the plane, That's normal. boarding, getting on the steps, you could see it was Emirates Airline. Right. Um, and he said he was in his seat. He was really tired. Um, it was two o'clock in the morning in my time. He's going to miss but his would flight, I stay eh? with him um, until they'd taken off? And then out of the blue, he said, um, within a few minutes, he said, they just called my name. I have to go up to the front. I said, well, you must have lost a document. Okay. And he said, no, I've checked. I have all my documents with me. Wow, this so is... then he texts Sorry. from the front of the plane saying, I'm being asked some questions. I have to go with these people. Why wow, are getting arrested, eh? you. The thing that was throwing me was that I was then getting an alert from a shipping company to tell me that the shipment was on the way. So if it was fake, then how come I was getting this alert from a shipping company that I Googled, I'd looked up, I'd explored everything, I'd gone on the site, and it looked very genuine. And that... Have I have I been duped here? Is she actually a smart person, or just because she hasn't sent money yet is she smart? Which I guess would make you smart in comparison to the other victims. But you are taking the piss right now if you look at this screen and tell me that this is, looks like a genuine website. This plane doesn't look real. And I'm sorry, where is it flying over? This looks like the earth has been painted gold. Where is it? Where is it? It's in space. This is something Elon Musk would pitch to his board members. If he has board members, I don't know. But this is like a Tesla plane. Hey guys, we're gonna fly over this golden planet right now. Let's get on with it. This is not genuine, please, Jacqueline. Genuine Jacqueline. <laughs> That's... <sighs> kind of confusing me. Yeah, so real. Pay a fine, but there was nothing to worry about. He got money on him and within a few days he would be here. And he was sorry for for putting me through the worry. What happened? The past few days. You got arrested or what? Sorted. As the days went on, he said um, he had to raise some more money. And that whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't just move forward here, Genuine Jacqueline. What happened? Why did they speak to him? I don't like when catfish miss out crucial details, okay? I get it, it might not be the most pertinent piece of information. And I, pertinent piece of information, by the way, I've pulled a th 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 It's fitting that I forgot how to speak there after using such a word like pertinent. I've pulled the thesaurus out my ass. Oh, what is the point of any of this? Stop it. Get some help. Basically, I don't like when they miss out pieces of information, right? Why did he have to speak to them? Why wasn't he allowed on the plane? He um, was going to ask a couple of friends he'd been lending money to in the States. Okay. And he was sure they would give him the money. In some ways, I was feeling a bit guilty for feeling that I was doubting him. And, you know, there was a shipment on its way uh, to the UK that proved that he was coming. But then he started to um, indicate that he needed more money and the money needed to be raised. And For what? He started to turn in his conversations and he would kind of guilt trip me a little bit by saying, okay. you know, my friends can't raise any money, but they're asking me, what is the woman that you've given everything up for? What is she doing to help you out this situation that you're in? What did, what did you give up for? Have I missed something crucial and this man has quit his job to come over and, and be with Jacqueline? What's he given up here? What the hell is he going on here, man? But fair play, a victim for once has seen the manipulation, has seen the red flags and, and stood firm. Wow. In comparison, she is like Einstein to the other victims. But to like me and you watching this, it's like, yeah, cool. I get it. You would do this. But it's it's complicated, right? On one hand, yes, she's the smartest of a bad bunch. as, as She's the best of a bad bunch, as people would say. But like to us, it's like, 
yeah, all right, that was expected, you know. And you're in it because of her. And it was completely toying with me. Um, the shipment had then got to um, one of the air, uh, the local airport, yeah. and the message What's said the that they wanted airport? to inspect the vehicle. I messaged him to tell him that that was the case, and he said no. I've done all the paperwork. They don't need to inspect the vehicle. Please don't let them because they will find my gemstones and I don't trust that they wouldn't be stolen. It's my livelihood. Well, George, let's say this is real. Are you some kind of fool? Let me let me go back to clarify before I make a fool of myself, as I so often do. You've done all the, the paperwork, but you've left gemstones in the car that's being shipped across the world because that's a smart thing to do isn't it the livelihood that that so depends on you F that didn't make sense but you put your own gemstones in a car that's being shipped across the world why exactly why did you why did you do that why are they not on you why did you think it was a good idea to put them in the car with no one keeping an eye on them this Really stupid, George. Really stupid. How... Now I understand why you can't even pay for your dog's operation. You clearly don't know what to do with life. You have the financial planning of a cat. Yeah? That's probably why you, you don't want to pay for your dog's operation. Because you, you are a cat. Um, and cats hate dogs. What great humour we have on this channel. Stolen, it's my livelihood. So I what decided to take matters in my own hand and do some exploring with this shipment site. Okay. And ask them what it was they were looking for and what they were asking for. They said they needed a NIC, which was a non-inspection certificate, which oh, I've okay, never heard exists. of. So I googled for hours and hours and hours um, about non-inspection certificates and what okay. they were used for and if they were valid and if they could be used. And that just seemed to me as if it was really fake, that this wasn't something that could stop customs um, inspecting that vehicle or his shipment in any way. Well done. I never found out about the shipping company itself. That always looked quite real to me. Well, but the not well inspection done. certificate didn't look real at all. It didn't look as if it was something valid. But what I did notice was that when he was texting me at the same time, within 10 minutes, I was getting a notification from the shipping company. And nice. that, at that point, made me hit the reality that Good. this was fake. Yes. He was never on the plane. He was never coming to the UK. This was all just a scam. Well done. And he was linked to the shipping company. So what is the purpose of this episode? Because the title of this episode is We Exposed Everything in This Romance Scam. But she's done it herself. So, you know, you're going to tell me the location of the scammer. Anything else? Because she's basically solved this, right? What's the point of continuing? I sent him a long message to say that oh you my. can find out. You are the shipping company and you are... You know, this has just been a lie to you for a whole year. Right. For the sake of stat padding some some view duration. <laughs> oh, it doesn't get realer anywhere else than this channel. I'm going to read this to you. I believed in you as a kind, caring, loving man. I believe that we had a life of love together to plan for. Please, right now, if you're listening to this... Grab a cup of coffee, have a cake, as Mercedes would say. Shout out Mercedes in the comments, and just listen to my voice. Listen to this ASMR. HSMR. HSMR. Oh, I believed in you. While it now seems obvious that all along you were just playing a cruel, emotional, psychological game with me, day in, day out, every sentence for this last year was a lie. You manipulated... You deceived me on every possible level. You lied every day, every message. You pretended to have bought us a house, a car. You pretended to be in love, you pig. And that's a little remix from me. You pretended to have any feelings for me. You lured me to trust you, love you, 
and believe every word you wrote. Whatever your religion, whatever your faith, there is no forgiveness for you. Whoa, 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 for what you have done. And the pain you have caused, you are lacking in the most important thing that we as human beings possess, morality. You have none on any level. Now, if you read this and listen to the beautiful scripture that I have just read aloud, you would assume that this is some kind of speech that Sauron from Lord of the Rings would give because my, my Jacqueline, fair play, you got it off your chest, but he's going to read this and he's going to give absolutely zero shits. But hey, fair play to Jacqueline because she... For, for some reason still believes the website looks real. Well, that's another thing. I, I'm, I'm genuinely impressed that she took a step back away from love, away from the loneliness that she might have been feeling and, and just put her foot down and actually did some research, not just believed everything that this man was saying, which puts into perspective, right? I understand everyone is different, but at some point, Every victim that we've seen has had the opportunity to take a step back. And even when they have doubts, right, they've had opportunities to take a step back and, and know and research. All it takes is a quick Google search. She was sitting there for hours, granted, but that might be exaggerated. But she found out. Everyone else can find out. As I say, found out in the wrong grammatical sense. Great one, let's continue. Everything that you said was a lie. Everything that you claimed was yep. a lie. It's a fake profile, you're completely fake. And all you've been trying to do is get me to pay 7,000 pounds. He said that wasn't the case and that I got it all wrong. This By the way, if you ever are in the misfortunate position or the unfortunate position that you have to type someone, and this is in a real scenario, right? You type something like this out, a novel, your New York Times number one bestseller, and you get a message that's three words. Believe that that person is absolutely guilty AF. Somebody that drew me along into believing them, into believing and lying to such an extent. What is this? I would like to find out where that shipping company is from, uh, that it is absolutely fake. It would be it good to know who the real person the same is in the video. picture so that you can park Just... that to one side so that that is somebody else's life who the person is in the pictures and that gives closure to that. But that location, again, just gives closure to be able to move oh, on. Oh, fair enough. She but didn't for me, money, I think but... the main thing is is supporting Social Catfish in, being able to promote these videos to educate people, men, women, you get drawn into this. After talking to Jacqueline, we looked into this nice. mysterious man who claimed his name was George, I feel like the shipping site, and all the documents and emails she received. All of it was fishy. It wasn't mm. hard to figure out that Jacqueline definitely <laughs> dodged a scammer. It was. Do you get it? It was fishy because catfishing, scam fish, plenty of fish, some victims find love on. Do you get it? <laughs> uh, it was pretty tough to verify who exactly this man was, but with the tools on our site, we're able to find anyone in minutes. If you're looking to find the identity of your online lover, you can start with the tools on our site, <laughs> socialcatfish.com. You can click this YouTube card or click the link in our bio. Just hitting like, comment, and subscribe helps us build more tools out for you to use in the future. Hi Jacqueline, how are you doing? Today we just had a few more questions for you and also wanted to run through some of the stuff that Brienne was able to find. Gonna pause it right there because I think the smartest thing about Jacqueline is that she's mastered the art of filming herself without us having to look up her nostrils. In clap emojis in, in, the, in the comment section for that one. Thank you for not letting us see your brain which you actually have shown you have one. <laughs> Incredible angle. Can the victims learn from her, please? Okay, great. What was the reason you were in contact with them the whole year, even though you saw all the red flags? 
I know, it's kind of weird. No, I'm sorry, but we've come to expect me pausing it on this channel. But when Drew puts those damn glasses on, right? Oh, my. What a man. All right? What a man. And I might be absolutely going on a limb here. But do I slightly look like Brie in this? The way she has her glasses look kind of similar to mine. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I look like her in, in this. But I definitely don't look like Drew. <clears throat> Drew, please, let's collab on projects together, man. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Because you don't want to accept those red flags. You you know, yeah. it's not like a big danger zone. They, sometimes they were like what I would call pink flags. They were, is this is this me being overly cautious? Is it, you know, would he genuinely need me to do something to help him? Yeah, if it. he was giving everything up to come over here, is that I how love it the works? background. But at the same time, I was, I was in kind of two camps I was I wanted to believe it was true I wanted to believe it could happen yeah but at the same time I was being really cautious and just don't open any bank accounts just don't send any money just you know realize that you haven't spoken to this person yeah mm. yeah for sure for sure is correct don't get me wrong I know the other victims they always mention that they are in two minds or oh, I had my doubts but the key difference here is that every time that I've said, if you have doubts, just leave them as doubts and don't act on emotion, essentially, right? Love, emotion, don't act on it. She's actually done it, Jacqueline. Well done. You, you saw the pink flags, we'll say, and I understand what you mean by that. But you've taken your doubts, you've planted yourself into the ground, no, no, you ain't getting an acorn out of me. Fair play for actually having the, what is it, emotional intelligence in this scenario, but maybe, I don't know what that noise was, I tell you that much, but that's the noise of Jacqueline's brain turning, but it's turning in the good way. Well, um, Brienne has a few things that she's been digging into. So Jacqueline, nice. the first thing I'd like to jump into from the investigation. What's she digging into, huh? Is she a gemstone trader as well? <laughs> is the, the website called Royal Express Services. Um, how often did you use this site? So he um, said that I should get an email alert. I went into it quite regularly with the mm -hmm. tracker, the number that you were given as a tracker number. And okay. I would keep going in to track the information to see where the so-called shipment was. Yes. And I would track that quite regularly. This website is actually a fake website. Wow. And I it's, never it's only 70 days old, which means it was created fairly recently. One thing that you guys have to understand is that these scammers are clever. George used this website to try to dupe money from Jacqueline. Dude. At first glance, it looks like a legit business that That's you it? would trust to do business with. But like Brienne said, this website is 100% fake. Mm. These scammers spend hours and days working on these websites to make them seem legit. I'm uh, I don't think this is legit because I want to mention in the top left-hand corner there, right? You see the logo and the, the Royal Express Services, the name. It's cut off. Like, it just says, Yarl Express Services. So unless Yarl at Catfish, you know, cropped the website to cut off that part, if that's genuinely on the website like that, what is wrong with you? You will never go on, like, Nike's website, right? Or Nike, if it needed clarifying, and just see the tick is cut off. The website just shows you half of the tick because... <laughs> We, we've got a sale going on. Everything's half price, so we've cut our logo in half as well. But Nike, sponsor me. Please. That's the one company. Um, well, it's not just one company. I'd love most companies to sponsor me within reason. You know, if you come to me as a betting company or something, I'm going to tell you, get out of my face. I shall not 
allow such promotion because it's bad. If you do gamble, gamble responsibly, but also realize the word gamble is not a good word, so save your money. But what what tangent has that gone on? I don't know. I'm trying to click on the buttons and they don't take me anywhere. This is a huge red flag. Yeah, An established that, company then? would never have this problem. Brienne was able to find out that the website was literally created the same week Jacqueline received the tracking number for the car that George bought her. This is not a coincidence. <laughs> If you are skeptical about doing business Wait, on a website, you shouldn't be on it. But if you want to vet it, one of the best ways is to check the who is history on the website. It's super okay. easy. Just copy the link from the website you want to check out. Right, sorry. Will Smith slaps Chris Rock. What is going on there? I, I'm a, who, who recently searched BBB? Huh? It took me a while to actually realize that's the Better Business Bureau, so... It kind of makes sense why they were searching it, but Google Analytics, Google Docs, just let's be thankful that no aubergine enlargement pills from the beginning were in the recent searches. Paste it in and you'll get the site's credentials. If That's this tip cool. helped you, I didn't know that. leave a comment down below. Let's get back into it. So you sent us over an invoice from the website. And so I broke it down. The first thing that I had noticed was the QR code down at the bottom. When uh, I no, but georgepeterson.mail at gmail.com. Is there need to specify dot mail? Really? Really? Went to the QR code. It only led me to a QR code template website. Nice. To a place where you can create a QR code, right? Correct. <laughs> oh. Something else on the invoice that stood so out lazy. to me was the address. So I searched the address where... So that's not how you spell receiver, by the way. And I would know because I receive <laughs> ladies. Oh my, that means you would do strap-on things to me, but... <laughs> Got a mind of its own. Easy, easy, big fella. Receivers, here's a good tip. I before E except after C. That's what I learned back in school. So you would actually have to swap the I and the E after the C here. English lessons from someone who rarely can speak English properly, but I did do good in English. As I've mentioned before, <laughs> So I searched that address and the name Dubai. of the street is an actual mosque in Dubai. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought I would share that fun fact with yeah, you. So fun. <laughs> At least there was a relig religious side to it in some way. So there are multiple no. different types of scams in this particular relationship with George. This is what we call a parcel package scam. A parcel package romance scam is when a scammer gains a victim's trust and tells them that they have lots of money or a valuable item that they are going to ship them. This but this is just not believable. Now, first he couldn't pay for his dog's operation, which cost a hundred, you know, a couple hundred dollars. But then the next day he's bought a car for someone he's known for a few months. This is not believable. Like, what? You, what? Oh. Scammer will usually send some kind of tracking info. Oh. This builds the anticipation, right? In Jacqueline's oh. case, it was diamonds and the car. The scammer will then ask the victim they need to pay a fee that is much smaller than the value of the item that they will be supposedly receiving. This is exactly where the scam was leading to. The scammer gets the money and the package never arrives to the victim. We ended up finding the real person in the photos right and this guy he's a really good artist actually he has a talent yeah, yeah. he's very talented he sure. he makes a I, I think it's like digital paper art that hurts my eyes and his name is yasi ben and he is out of uh san francisco on his instagram he has very few pictures of himself he's mostly wow. got social media just for his art and yeah, you I can mean, actually yeah. reach out to him and, and DM him and actually purchase a, a, a piece of his art. Never seen anything <laughs> like this. This art is, is quite amazing. Where does, 
this scammer get those pictures from? He wasn't sending me pictures of art. They were other pictures, obviously, the ones like the ones I sent you. But if he didn't have a lot of Instagram pictures, where did where do those pictures get stolen question. from? If you dig into his Instagram a little bit more, you'll find those photos of him. Uh, um, we, I definitely did see one that actually matched up with the one that you received from George. You know, just like with my social media, your social media, it's, it's ever changing, right? So maybe in the past he did have several images of himself and Fair. for privacy reasons decided, you know what, I wanna take those down and just focus on my artwork. No one really knows the reason why people change their their profiles and their pictures, but I, that's something that I believe. Okay. Those people yeah. in the photos are usually dealing with this every day. So right. people are constantly harassing them, reaching out to them, telling them that their, their photos are being stolen and it probably just gets annoying after a while, yeah, right? I can imagine. Be. And he's it's on, you know, those pictures are on different scam sites now that I researched them. They're on different scam sites under different, many, many different names. So okay. he must have been having these pictures stolen for such a long time. How do you feel about online dating and where do you go from here? <laughs> I don't know because I, I was not online dating. I, you know, I was obviously got into dating someone through LinkedIn, um, not, you know, networking for work, not to do with dating. Which, by the way, is a red flag in itself because please don't start a relationship with someone through LinkedIn messaging, right? In before once again, Somehow someone is in a marriage <laughs> and it started from LinkedIn and they'll drop it in the comments. But for the most part, all right, please, <laughs> you offering me a job? No? See you later. I, you know, I don't know. I was having this conversation the other day with somebody about where do you meet somebody and is it safe to go online? You know, and it's... I want to ask the question here. She seems very, like, personable, right? Seems very social. Why can't... Surely just go outside. Like, she's also a good-looking woman. Like, go outside. But I don't, I don't know why everyone turns to online dating. It's just never... Now, don't get me wrong. You know, it has its perks, right? But I just... I, 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 I wouldn't do it myself, basically. But she seems, like you know, able to go outside and stuff. I just, I don't know. Maybe people just think online dating is quicker, uh, easier, because you don't have to go outside. But I don't know, man. It's just better to build a connection in person. You know, the romantic, oh, we bumped into each other at the supermarket and I dropped my eggs. And that's not a innuendo, you know, about eggs. And oh, my goodness, we're getting freaky now. Scramble me, George. But... Yeah, you know those movies, oh, I dropped something, oh, our hands touched as we both went to pick it up. I don't know, it's just better in person, but that's just my opinion. I've... It's a bit of a, you know, you would have to know that you were talking to somebody. I would have to be video calling immediately um, if I did want to start talking to somebody. So I don't know, I don't know. I, am I ready? You know, this this... I feel as if I've got over this, you know, it was a few months ago. It was okay. very hard at the time. It was a real emotional tug. And the games and the the tactics that these people play um, are really, really cruel. Yes. And, um, and it takes a bit to get over. But I feel as if I've got over it and I don't want that to impact me um, to have learned from it and move on and do something more positive That's with good. it. Um, so where do I go from here? I don't, I don't know. What will be, will be. <laughs> Just live life, innit? I do agree with you, though. I think it's a great way to start a friendship slash relationship by getting on that video call first thing. I, I do agree with you on that. Well, let's, you know, take a, take a step back once again, because in the case, let's say, if you're watching this and you're of the woman variety, I don't know why I said it like that, but we're going to go with that. And a guy you're messaging quite abruptly, hey, let's video call. Take that with a pinch of salt because that's a bit creepy. And 
more often than not, they probably just want to see, you know, <laughs> you know, the nudies. So take it with a pinch of salt if someone wants a video call right off the bat. I, you know, I get it, but especially in the case of a scammer, right? They'll ask you for money quite quickly. Uh, then you can ask, hey, let's video call. And then obviously you go from there if it's a no or a yes. But in a real scenario where you're like, oh, feeling each other out. Oh, could this be a relationship, etc. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm overthinking it, right? I am an overthinker. I got bad anxiety. But I feel like if someone asked a video call, it's just it's creepy. But let me know in the comments. Please just basically be be safe. You know, if they, if you do actually video call with them, and then immediately within a few minutes they're like, "Oh, what are you wearing?" Then take please red flag. Do we know where this person came from? Do we know? where his calls were coming from eventually, or the scammer? We found out that the person that was behind the profile and the computer that was writing to Jacqueline pretending to be George right. was located in Abuja, wow. Nigeria. Well, Jacqueline, it's been really great getting to know you and for you to share your story and for you to take this time and bring awareness to romance scams and we really appreciate your time thank you thank you i really appreciate everything that you do and the education that you're giving out there you can see it's making a difference you can see on you know on facebook and on instagram you can see that it's well, we getting out get there and this message is there victims, so but... it's just amazing work and thank you for helping me put closure to this yes thanks for Love watching it. another episode of scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go do that. See you next time. Well, you already are. Ha <laughs> ha Press that bell. Yeah. Scams come in so many different forms. If you have been a victim of any of the scams below. Yes, yes. We've seen this before on the older episodes. Contact some support if you are part of any of these scams. Let's breathe some life back into me there. <laughs> What's the main take point? from this. I don't think she's the first victim to not send money. Maybe at the time of this release she was, but somewhere up there if I remember, if you it will be there if I remember. Goodness, say that one more time. <laughs> It'll be up there if if you if I remember. But there was that horny teacher, right, with Leon Gray and you know, the orphan. She didn't send money. At least I don't think she did. But then she was also a bit dodgy because she was happy to literally strip an orphan of their heirloom. But we we talked about that in that one. This is Jacqueline. Jacqueline, good vibes, man. She she didn't seem down about anything. She had perhaps not the oh my god, I'm Einstein Helen levels of 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 smarts that she found out each and every bit of information but she did her due di di diligence as drew says not like that though he says it properly i don't but she did her part in finding out that this kind of stuff doesn't exist the certificate what are you on about so even that small bit of information is sometimes all it takes for you to say stop all right but also, I want to mention the fact that I think she is secure within herself. A lot of these victims we see, they have some sort of self-esteem issue. They have some sort of insecurity that, you know, spearheads them into falling in love. But I feel like she's very content with herself. E.g., oh no, I bought you a car. No, sorry, I don't need a car, bitch. I'm happy. So, there's a lot of factors that, that come together and, and and make the smart Jacqueline that we've seen. So, oh my God, stop it. Basically, the main take point here is, I think it's pretty self-explanatory about how many times I say, look after yourself, you know, on a personal level, seek some support if you do, talk things out, learn to embrace 
your insecurities and not let them, you know, be the frontline soldier to your decisions. I, I think Jacqueline is a good example of what kind of, you know, personal content can do for you. I'll see you next time. Was she the smartest? In the grand scheme of things, yes, because she also didn't, you know, do bad things and steal from an orphan. I'll see you next time. Take care. Much love. Peace. And as always, the playlist is up there. Go and tickle it, baby. Ahaha. Bye.